हेलो हाय गुड मॉर्निंग हाय गुड मॉर्निंग मैम हाउ आर यू डूइंग आई एम डूइंग ग्रेट टेल मी हाउ आर यू फाइन थैंक यू आई एम फैंटास्टिक मैम व्हाट्स योर नेम माय नेम इज नरेंद्र कौर गब्बी नरेंद्र कौर गब्बी टेल मी अबाउट योरसेल्फ नरेंद्र ओके थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी हाय दिस इज नरेंद्र कौर आई हेल फ्रॉम रामपुर यूपी एज फॉर एज माय एकेडमिक क्रेडेंशियल्स आर कंसर्न आई एम पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट एंड आई एम मैरिड एंड हैव किड्स basically i am a homemaker but before covid i used to do some singing programs and anchoring in air akashwani radio rampur but at okay. this time i am not doing job because of my little one okay now it is i am working on my communication skill i want to be a fluent english speaker like you oh thank you so, <laughs> so much for saying that yeah <laughs> okay. thank you very much okay so after working on your english skills what kind of a job you would like to do uh actually i don't want to do job because my husband doesn't me allow to do job uh, because i have little one he is 4 uh, years old so i have to take care of him so that's why okay so your husband whatever does i will do my life yeah whatever i will do i will do online okay so you will do whatever you do in a way you can take care of your baby as well as your work yeah yes yes exactly So just because of the baby your husband doesn't want you to do a job or there is something else also Yeah both the reasons are here actually in okay. my family uh, my family members you know they don't like that uh, woman you know job yeah should do work yes okay. So earlier when you were working at that time you were unmarried No no I was married that time Okay but how did he yeah, allow but I was yes actually that time I was living in joint family Okay. Yes. So that uh, at that time, and I was doing only part time job. I was doing a uh, one program within fifteen uh, days. So it was my part time job only. Yes. So one program in fifteen days. <clears throat> yes. One program a fortnight. Fifteen days can be called yes. a fortnight. Okay. So you use put the radio station. Yes. Okay. So what kind of a program it was? like it was some anchoring programs uh, i have to talk with the teachers or professional i have to talk them and uh, and whenever the festive season comes that time i have to present some singing programs also with the help of harmonium okay. and uh, i recite some i have to recite i had to recite some gurwani shabad kirtan uh, with the help of harmonium uh, okay. there you used to talk on occasion to some not... teachers and guests on the show and with the talk going on you used to play some songs in between right yes sir you can say sometimes yeah i do anchoring or talk with the you know professionals and sometimes i do some uh, musical programs it, it would not be do because you did that in the past so sometimes you did anchoring sometimes you did some musical programs and you used to play yes. all these things and bhajans and all that on harmonium yes so exactly. you know how to play harmonium yes ma'am i know how to play okay well i know three of the musical instrument okay yeah, harmonium dholak and tabla yes okay and do you know how to play guitar also no <laughs> okay. actually my elder son is learning guitar so oh, you have two sons yeah i have two sons one daughter and two sons Oh, one daughter and two sons. So, how old yes. is your daughter? My daughter, she is seventeen years old. Okay. And my elder son, he is fourteen years old. I I have younger one also. He is four years. The middle kid is fourteen years old, and the youngest one is four years old. So, there is a ten years <laughs> gap. <laughs> so, how yes, do you think of being the third kid? <laughs> I don't know actually, but I feel I blessed. Okay. Yeah, you have been blessed. What is your daughter doing these days? My daughter, she is in class tenth. Okay, she is in class tenth, so her boards are about to come. Yes, and she is, uh, you know, from ICSC board, and she is doing hard work. And right now, she come back from her hostel, and uh, she remain busy with her kids, uh, with her studies or something else. She comes back from hostel and remains busy in her studies. Yes. Okay, so she stays in hostel, and your son. Does he also stay in hostel? My son is also. Yes, same. Okay. Only the youngest one. He is in the he's staying. Yes. The other two are in hostel. Yes, I have to. Yes, yes, I have to take care of him all. We are having winter vacations right now, and my daughter she is taking online class, online coaching. 
okay and uh, only in the subject i am teaching okay hindi subject you are teaching and she takes tuitions yes. for other subjects yes and the four year old does he go to school yes he goes to school actually he is in pre nursery <laughs> okay pre nursery after working on your english skills you want to work online so what kind of an online work you have thought of have you thought of anything i don't uh, i don't have much idea about it actually i am you know i am now it is i am working on my communication skill that time i know that uh, i have to improve i have to polish my language after that i will uh, you know think about it what kind of thing i can do yeah english is necessary in every field so wherever you go you know yes okay what about your children do they speak in english yes they are fluent english speakers okay sometimes so, they correct me well. yes okay yes because yeah. i did my pg in 2000 and now 2023 is going on it it was a long gap for me to restart again or revise tenses everything right. but you know my daughter she is very sincere she is very studious okay. student so sometimes she correct me she correct my pronunciation also she corrects you and she corrects your pronunciation also yes she okay. corrects me okay and what about your sons they also speak english well yes ma'am yes as uh, uh, you know i use some applications to improve my communication skill he also takes interest to uh, use the, those applications like in english wordy uh, b and great says fluency so whenever i talk and he also talk um, by the her uh, father's mobile so he is taking a lot good uh, you know interest in it that he was saying ma'am uh, mama it's very a good application so it's a very you know nice experience as we are talking with the strangers yes so he also takes interest and he also talks on these apps yes and what does your husband yes. do? my husband is a business man he is the owner of private factory private factory okay and uh, where are you from i am from rampur up okay rampur up yes so okay. nowadays it's very cold in up yes it's very cold <laughs> before you know 25th december it was not too much cold it was okay uh, uh, weather but uh, after 25th december it's going to be very chill uh, very you know cool yeah. weather <laughs> like masuri yeah till 25th it wasn't very cold as it was expected to be but it started getting very yes. cold after you know 30th yes. actually 31st first yes. and second after new year's eve it has yeah. been very cold it's yes. like you know freezing cold these days the yes. children are sleeping till late in the mornings because they have vacations yes my yes, children also true. don't wake up till you know 12 o'clock in the afternoon they wake up in the afternoon oh. not in the morning yes but i am a early bird i wake up at 6 o'clock yeah i even i sleep a late night okay yes i even i slept late night Mm-hmm. and uh, but uh, i have to you know work, wake up early in the morning like 6 o'clock and i like it when your children are having vacations you are you get up at 6 o'clock what so what do you do at that time oh <laughs> i have a lot of i have so many chores i have to manage and i have to you know organized my younger one twice especially does your husband leave early yeah yes what time does he leave home Uh, no no he uh, went uh, uh, there of his office uh, till 11 o'clock 11 11:30 he leaves at 11 11:30 for the office for factory yes yes for factory he okay. leaves so yeah. he also doesn't go early he also doesn't leave early and children are also home so but you like to get up early yes yes ma'am yeah it's with me also i also get up by 6:30 or 7 by the time my children wake up it's time for take a nap for me you know <laughs> they become active at <laughs> okay. around 2 3 and at that time i take a short nap it's my nature since my childhood okay. and uh, i uh, wake up early in the morning at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock but i feel sleepy uh, sleepy like uh, at uh, 2 30 or 3 o'clock after taking lunch yeah. so i feel actually i want to uh, give uh, you thank you very much ma'am you have given me for this opportunity because you know i was messaging you continuously i think for uh, one month or two months i i think because of busy schedule you couldn't give the answer yeah, actually or i get so many messages every day one day i open instagram and randomly i try to give chance to everybody so 
it takes time you know i don't want anybody to wait for me yes i can understand ma'am okay so uh, you were asking uh, what i am doing to improve my communications nowadays i am watching some conversational videos as other you youtubers are, are uploading i watching i am watching some conversational videos these days i am watching i am watching some conversational videos on youtube and apart from this i try to speak in english with my kids especially and uh, i created english spoken atmosphere at my place at my home because whenever i have to uh, you know ask anything with my husband or my kids i try to speak in english only and even now it is i'm uh, i try to, i speak with my mates also so sometimes <laughs> Okay. Okay. you have tried to create an english speaking atmosphere around you <laughs> you are talking to your children yes. in english and sometimes you are doing that with your mates also yes ma'am because i have learned a lot of things in my life before marriage and after marriage mm -hmm. you know i have learned a lot of things uh, you know it's a limitless thing i never ever want to uh, waste my time or every moment i try to utilize and after marriage i uh, before marriage i don't know how to stitch the clothes and driving um, so many things are there but after marriage i learned it stitching okay. and uh, i love stitching and uh, i love driving and okay. uh, now I, i think spoken english is left so i am working <laughs> okay so for mary you didn't know how to stitch and you didn't know how to drive but you learned them after marriage yes because you didn't know yes. so it was past so we would say we didn't i didn't know okay i didn't know yes yes sorry i didn't know that yes. time no 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 don't need to say so you don't need to say sorry because if i start uh -huh. learning a new language today maybe let's say it's french i will also make mistakes so it's okay to make mistakes mistakes are important because you can't learn anything without them isn't it yes you're absolutely right yes ma'am without mixed mistakes we cannot learn new things in our life uh -huh. correct so mistakes are natural yes but we uh, can try to yeah. um, you know reduce our mistake that if yeah. we uh, you know practice a lot if yeah. we create english spoken and more environment and uh, we listen some uh, conversational videos on the daily basis we use some application if we use then uh, we can improve yeah. we can reduce our mistake yeah we can improve when we start listening to conversations daily and you can start watching english content like movies serials comedy shows mm -hmm. apart from conversation you can watch some, some content which is enjoyable also like have you ever tried yes. watching english movies and serials they are also good i watch them actually no no okay, okay. if you start watching okay. them you will be hooked to them you know and actually, that way i cannot i cannot watch because of my busy schedule when whenever i go to the kitchen that time i uh, busy uh, in kitchen so i you know listen only i can listen okay so because of your busy schedule yes. you can't watch you, you can only listen to some yes. uh, when your children will go after the vacations only you and your husband yes. and your little kid will stay there no at that time you will have a little yes. time yes yeah. yes you can start you know but on saturday season. sunday i remain busy okay yeah because everyone is home yeah i understand yes everyone is home not home but my uh, actually my daughter she takes tuition online tuition on by instagram because there is a you know and uh, they uh, school teachers are allowed to do uh, online uh, you know talk with uh, they can use online talk with the, their parents especially mother so okay. i uh, yeah don't talk like uh, here and there things i uh, teach him her like hindi so that she got full marks in hindi also your daughter comes every week no no she uh, okay, doesn't teach her come online here teach her online. online yes okay okay yes if she doesn't come on saturday but sunday you teach her online no no yes here only yes here only okay but you said she lives in hostel she lives in hostel but on saturday sunday i feel very busy with her because she called me to take tuition by online by her laptop so on saturday sunday because she, she doesn't take takes in hindi tuition from you online yes so that is why you are busy on saturday sunday for how many hours do you teach her on weekends like 2 hours 
in the morning to uh, one hour in afternoon and uh, before teaching her i have to practice me once okay okay yes. so all your weekend goes yes. in teaching hindi right yes yes <laughs> and you have to teach your sons also right yes little children they talk very funny and interesting things something about your little one yes actually uh, last night my husband and my elder son went somewhere for two or three days and uh, my uh, daughter she was studying and uh, younger one younger you know my younger son his uh, is following him her a lot and she was studying by laptop she was demanding to take and uh, she uh, before this uh, she was uh, she is not taking uh, he is not taking interest to do you know very clean and uh, good work like abcd but uh, he was following her sister and uh, um, she was writing in a very good way i was really surprised last night okay he also started writing well yes okay. yes and my elder son is also following her sister and when when she went her hostel and that time my elder son insisted me a lot to do uh, you know her hostel life or she is having enjoying there she is doing a very good work i also wanted to go but you are denying so i said okay if you want to go then you can go then he went there so <laughs> he regretted a lot <laughs> he misses the family mama hell no yeah. <laughs> elder son yeah but not yeah, my daughter wants to come back now said. wants to come back home and yes. leave the hostel now yes <laughs> how old is he he is 14 years old okay actually uh, earlier he was thinking that uh, my do- um, sister is uh, you know doing a very fun uh, good thing or uh, you know they are enjoying her hostel life when he went there so he got to know that <laughs> what all she is doing in hostel and what is the meaning of hostel life i have to manage i have to organize my cupboard or table or chair and here is no laptop my phone chips <laughs> this type of thing he regretted a lot <laughs> so you are 14 year old yes. your elder son when your daughter went to hostel he was insisting yes. that i also want to go, go i also want to go to hostel because he thought that your daughter is enjoying there a lot she is having so much yeah. fun he thought i also want to go but they are not letting me go and then when you let him go then he came to know <laughs> that there is no fun hostel life is no fun it was just you know yes. doing everything on your own and staying away from parents he is too young to go to a hostel i think you should let him come home i think the 14 year old he is too young to live in a hostel but he is settled now okay he has settled. he went in class seven. yeah he went there Uh, in class 7 now he is in class 9 okay now he doesn't miss family that much no no he got to know what is the hostel life now my what is my future plan and uh, he always curious to know what is my sister is doing in her life she always follow here yeah. now he are a true follower <laughs> <laughs> your daughter is also in the same hostel no no my okay. daughter she is in only girls school in girls hostel and my elder son he is only boys hostel but their school is same no oh, no my okay. daughter she is in dehradun yeah okay. different school yeah okay different school different hostel so he doesn't yeah. have family he doesn't have sister he is all alone she is all alone and you three are here yeah yes we are three and what about your youngest son does he say that why do they go to hostel does he say that no 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 he is a little toddler i don't think so but sometime he miss a lot okay, sometime that they will not stay here they have come for a little while yeah i was asking tell me about your family ma'am how many members are there in your family my husband my two children and my mother in law so we are five people is there english atmosphere in your neighborhood no there is a punjabi spoken atmosphere here total punjabi spoken atmosphere sometime i try to create in my in laws family so that my all jithanis can take interest uh, to uh, for english spoken but they don't take interest they didn't take interest that time so i switch my track so i think uh, they are not interested you know So, even in your neighborhood yeah. and relatives if everyone speaks english you know that also makes a difference and that also helps yes yeah because yes. in my neighborhood only my kids 
yeah in my neighborhood wherever i go i step out of the house everyone is speaking english in the, in the market everywhere so that also really helps so that has been yeah. helped for my children also so they also speak english well okay great ma'am it means you have a good english spoken environment around you yeah so that's why you are a front english speaker so how can i create ma'am so tell me okay. this how can i create so can't, an english uh, can't change environment. the environment around us you will have to change yes. yourself because we can't change the people around us so this environment actually we we shifted in noida a few years back before that there was no environment so that happened with us also but luckily my children were in a school where english was spoken and it was compulsory to speak english i was doing a job there it was compulsory to speak in english so that's how i got the environment so if you pick up a job even if it is online if it is compulsory to speak in english that will force you to think in english all the time so you will make mistakes in mm-hmm. the starting but that will help you a lot so i think don't wait for your english to become fluent first instead speak english fairly well it's not a, there are a few mistakes but that's okay i think you should pick up a job right now and your english will get better with time okay <laughs> thank you thank you very much but, but how can i search and where can i search i don't know what kind of an online can job can be for if you can teach some subjects there are online teaching jobs also any learner wants to talk to me then i give the time and he feels or she feels uncomfortable to talk to me on to talk me on video call so that time i try to you know talk him or her on audio call so okay. that he or she feel comfortable with me or i can practice whatever i can do nowadays i'm doing okay and yeah. you can actually watch some videos on youtube how to earn money online so there you will get i think lots of ideas everybody has some talent some hidden talent so you can you know use that to earn some money i think you can watch on youtube there are so many videos on this topic okay narinder okay ma'am surely i will watch oh uh, uh, yes ma'am i will watch surely thank you thank you very much ma'am yes. okay it was a lovely conversation i really enjoyed talking to you same here ma'am and Happy thank you very year. much ma'am you yeah. have yes Welcome. you have uh, given me this opportunity for uh, having this conversation thanks a lot it's my privilege thank you very much just welcome bye bye have a nice day bye ma'am